Hi, my dear audience. In this short video, I'm going to introduce uh, my blog. Uh, it's called New York Times. Uh, well, York is my long lasting nickname. It's some African variant of my name, Yuri, and I just chose New York Times. Uh, and here, just to walk you a bit through the content that I'm creating, uh, and uh, yeah, feel free to follow it. Uh, I cover pretty wide range of interests. So it, it, uh, you'll see posts on machine learning, mathematics, uh, maybe even quantum computation, career development, books, papers, and so on. Uh, it's currently both in Russian and English. Uh, so I'll be creating content uh, in, in, in both languages. Uh, and uh, yeah, therefore I don't have uh, sub subscriptions so that they are not annoyed with the uh, articles in the language that you don't understand. Uh, so you can follow me on LinkedIn. Uh, so all the link links are here in the footer. So I'll be announcing new posts on LinkedIn and Twitter mostly. And for a Russian speaking audience, I also have a Telegram channel called New York Times. Uh, so yeah, at the moment uh, I've, uh, I have a, a couple of articles, uh, for example, one on a uh, co-link track. So I organized a, uh, helped to organize a competition on the de detection of generated scientific content. And it's a huge challenge, right? So these uh, neural networks like GPT-3, they create such a good content, so almost indistinguishable from human written, uh, that such content actually appears in published papers and we are trying to do something with that. And I uh, organized a competition where you try to detect uh, generated content and distinguish it from human written content. And I here also cover, uh, I also explain why it's actually so, so, so challenging. And so we are really not there yet. Uh, so I'll be covering more uh, work projects. Uh, I'm currently doing a lot of research integrity projects and I plan to cover uh, some of those topics in, in this blog. But I also like some historical deep dives or just some cool stories from the past. So this one is on Vladimir Vapnik, the father of SVMs, losing a fancy dinner in a bet witnessed by Jan Likun. Uh, and the bet is about SVMs versus neural network. Uh, from time to time, I would uh, cover some courses. So I particularly enjoyed venture deals. So I knew nothing about startups and how they are financed. Uh, and uh, the, this course was very, very cool. It, it both covered a theory, but also it, it had it had much to offer as for networking. So there, there are many, many startuppers uh, assigning for the course. And uh, yeah, the network is, is really huge. And you would pick a startup uh, to pitch and then you go through the whole process actually pitching a startup, creating a cap table uh, for a startup. So really thinking of this as a business. So I highly recommend this course. And uh, uh, of course, uh, in the data science community, I'm mostly known for open machine learning course, uh, mlcourse.ai. So yeah, one of the articles, of course, yeah, uh, goes through the self-paced version of, uh, of the course. Uh, and uh, you see, yeah, well, it's a pretty diverse set of topics. So, yeah, some of those are in Russian. So, for example, some talks about the Netherlands, Kaggle, career, imposter syndrome, and uh, all this stuff. Uh, so, just to cover the English content a bit more, uh, there's a, a very nice talk uh, on, on the failures. So, what data scientists don't mention on their LinkedIn profiles. So, at the moment, it's uh, a video recording. It was my talk to Alexei Grigorev, uh, the leader of uh, the <clears throat> data, data Talks Club community. And here I honestly go through some real projects, uh, how I failed in those. And uh, yeah, it's really something you, you, you don't mention on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, and yeah, I've back to, if backfilled it with some of the content. Yeah, well, mostly for Russian speaking audience. Yeah, here we can find some talks with uh, uh, professors and with, with some data science rock stars known in the Russian speaking community. Alexander Dyakonov, Konstantin Vorontsov, Evgeny Sokolov, and, and others. Uh, and yeah, in the future, I plan uh, to write posts uh, on average probably once in three weeks or in, in a month. So yeah, enjoy and stay tuned. And uh, feel free to connect with me on uh, LinkedIn and, and Twitter. And uh, for Russian-speaking audience, uh, yeah, you can find this New York Times, this Telegram channel. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Cheers.